So when we start adding and subtracting these rational expressions, just keep in mind that we have to have common denominators if we're going to add the, or subtract the numerators. All right, it's the same idea with fractions because if you add a two-thirds plus four-fifths, you have to find common denominators before you start adding the numerators. The reason why we're adding the numerators is because then we're comparing at least equal size pieces. For example, and this kind of goes back to 950, if I had a cake, let's say I had two cake pans, and right here I have half a cake, and right here I've got a fourth of the cake. If I added to the half and the fourth, I wouldn't say that I would have two sixths, or perhaps even worse, two halves. And I do like cake, so. This last sentence right here is very good. If the denominators are not common, we have to manipulate them so that they are common without changing the value of the fraction. So we may scale it up, we may scale it down. It just depends on what we want to do to make the denominators the same so that we can add and subtract. All right, here's a great example. These are the kinds we like the most because the denominators are the same. So what this means, and that's kind of what the last slide was saying, is that I have a common denominator, 8w. Now I just need to add the, by the way, I'm adding because it says to add. So I have 6 plus 18. 6 plus 18 would be uh, 24 over 8w. <clears throat> and 24, as we know, well, 8, I guess, as well. Both of these are divisible by 8. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. Yeah, 3. And 8 divided by 8 is 1. And we still have that W. We don't really need the 1. So this would simplify into 3 over W.